everybody, it's April and Gracie, and today I'm here to show you what's in my drawers. And it makes me laugh to even say that because it's kind of a pun. There are videos that the people who do the cosmetic videos do, and they call it What's in My Bag. And when I heard that, I thought, I should do What's in My Bag when I go for a crop. And then I thought, you know what would be even more fun is if I did what's in my drawers and then it makes me laugh because it's kind of funny when you say what's in your drawers and you know who knows what who's gonna want to see this video and then they'll be shocked when my drawers are my Ikea Alex cart and I have stamps and you know fun things like that so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to show you my Ikea Alex cart this is one of my favorite set of drawers so I thought I would start with it and I might even find some things that I forgot that I had. So, let's get started. Alrighty, so this is the top drawer of my Alex cart. And these are the long, um, well, it's got three drawers that are, I don't even know how wide. Probably a couple feet wide and not as deep as the bottom three drawers. And the bottom three drawers are just a little deeper. So, in my top drawer, and this is going to be pretty exciting. Hopefully I'll get everything in. I have some Heidi Swap dies. And this drawer holds mostly what I'm using for Project Life. This is my calendar book that <laughs> has nothing in it because I epically failed on doing my project life this year. I got a really good start and then it kind of all fell apart. These are some Heidi Swap stamps that I got from the Peachy Keen deal of the day and I thought they were a lot of fun. These would even work on scrapbook pages, on cards for mini sentiments. It, this doesn't just have to be for Project Life, and really and truly, I forget because they're in this drawer that I have them. So I need to break them out more often. See, aren't those glasses adorable? And the butterfly and the stars. And also, if I use my archival safe ink, I could on scrapbook pages stamp this on the pictures, and I think that would be kind of cool. So I need to put that on my list of things to do. I have just, you know, a regular good old-fashioned stapler. I have my little fish. I think I got him at the dollar store with a staple remover. So when I mess up my stapling. And then this is just a little 4x6 trimmer for pictures that are smaller, that are 4 by, or that I need to be 4x6 or smaller. I've got my different date stamps that are for Project Life. They could be used um, for my planner if I had one. <laughs> and chalk ink. I stocked up because I was at a crop and archivers had closed and I can't find just these, the chestnut roan especially. Uh, this is another stamp for Project Live. Here's a stack O chalk ink, which I haven't even opened yet. I don't know what these are. Oh, my daughter owed me money and she paid me in dollar coins. So this is maybe a catch-all drawer too. Uh, another stamp for Project Life. I got a smell good thing. This is from France. I participate in a random act of kindness group and that was one of my gifts along with some socks for the month. Um, this is a catch-all. I've got little dies, arrows, banners, some pretty sequins, and my, my cute fish. I like fish. Um, this 
this was probably in one of my random act of kindness goodie bags so I can use it for Project Life. Ooh, and some feathers. See, I don't even remember I have had this stuff. Some sweet feathers. Just some die cuts that I can use. Little cups. Oh, <laughs> somebody's business card. Um, a little thank you for purchasing. This is probably what that was from, actually for purchasing from the Funky Junkie and I got my archival ink from her. Here are some large brads, large very flat brads that I found at that crop and I thought I was doing Operation Right Home stuff if I wanted a large brad. These are very, very flat so they work well. Of course they got put in the drawer and then I forget I have them. These color box I did find at Michael's. The only problem is they're pigment ink. So normally what I use my chalk ink to do is to ink the edges of paper and pictures and pigment ink doesn't work so well if you don't give it time to dry. And here are some just die cuts. Peachy Keen Peachy Cheap. Peachy Cheap has little goodie bags of die cuts and whatnot. And I am stopped for quite some time for Project Life. My little speech bubble. Get it down there so you can see it. So I have all kinds of die cuts. And then I have also stickers that were in probably goodie bags that I got at different crops. So this drawer has all kinds of treasures, these pretty flowers. And then also I cut out tags like this. I do the print and cut with my silhouette and cut out tags for journaling with my project life. And this is a snap with a bunch of journal cards in it to use. Okay, so that's, oop, and I almost forgot. Here are wooden embellishments that I've collected. So, typewriter, different speech bubbles with different sayings. Awesome. There you see it there that way. So I can use those to decorate my Project Life pages. Alright, here's drawer number two. And this drawer has letters. So sticker letters and sticker sheets. Huh, there aren't just letters. See, I told you I was going to find stuff. I told you I liked fish. So, I've got letters. Now, these are all letters. And these are sheets of letters that I have collected for years and years and years. And then these are the stickers that come with the kits with the paper, the matching paper, and then you get the sticker embellishments along with it. So, I need to remember that I have these because they might be good for pages. Here are some chip box letters from Kay and Company. See, fish, I'm telling you, loving the fish. Uh, here's some triangles and letters. Letters, letters, and folders full of letters and more letters and more letters. Evidently I collect letters. <laughs> Alright, this is drawer. Let me kind of adjust the camera. Drawer number three. I have this is a receipt for my ink. So I have ink 
for my printer, my big printer in here, with multiple inks. These are cards that came with one of the ink packs. Actually, this is looks like five by seven photo paper with envelopes. So I knew it was something photo related. I guess I never opened it. Or if I did, I don't remember opening it. Um, this is five by seven paper for my printer. And I think I saw some invoices under there. So this way, I have all my ink in one spot. These are the mats for my Cricut. And under that, I have mats for my Cameo. And under that, I have a pick scan mat. I was not able, get out of the way, I wasn't able to, I printed off the sheet on my printer and took a picture of it with my phone and I never got the Cameo to be able to get a reading from the picture that I took of what printed on my phone on this mat. So I have not had any luck with pic scan technology on the Cameo. I got frustrated and quit. These are the mats for my brother's scan and cut, which I've also been very disillusioned with. Uh, chopping mats, I get these at the dollar store and Mighty Dollar and you can cut out stencils using your Explorer or your Cameo. Pretty cool, I've done it, it works. Not disillusioned with that. Here are magnets that I have gotten at Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the two, and I cut these using just my regular um, Fiskars trimmer down to a size so that I can store my dies and I cut it to a size that will fit back in the package that my dies came in. Not disillusioned with this either. Oops, sorry. Works awesome. Uh, I think I got these at Target and probably paid more than a dollar for them. Do not buy your flexible cutting mats that you're going to cut out for stencils at Target. Buy them at the Dollar Tree or the Mighty Dollar or wherever it is you have whatever store you guys have that sells everything for a dollar. I think I'm stocked up on these. I don't think I need any more of those. And I'm going to put them back stacked correctly. There's my magnet. Brother scan and cut. Pick scan. Cameo. The Explore, The Expression, and The Imagine. Okay. Drawer number... F Here is drawer number four. This is photo paper. 8 by 10 photo paper. This is glossy. And this is 8 by 10 photo paper in matte. These are 12 by 12 page protectors and they're not as sturdy a page protector as I like to actually use to hold my pictures and my photo albums but I know that I will find something that I can use to make, use those to make. This is post-it picture paper. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it works or not. 
And here's more matte photo paper because you can never have enough matte photo paper. Here is some letterhead that I used. I can't remember. It's probably for somebody's graduation or something. And I don't want to get rid of it. Oh, you know what? I need this. I'm so glad that I did this because this is transparency paper. And I think I'm making shaker cards. And I'm thinking I can use this for my shaker cards. I can't feel it. It's kind of rough on one side. I guess so you know which side you're supposed to print on. But I don't think it affects seeing through it at all. Maybe that would make it so stuff didn't stick. I'll let you know what I find. I'm going to put that on top so I don't forget about it. These are trays that I found at Target that just happen to fit really well in these drawers, in case you're looking. I have Cricut ink, Cricut Imagine ink, and typewriter ribbon for my mom's old typewriter that she gave me. And that's it. I put the no stick stuff in the bottom so that, I know, wait for it, so things stick to the bottom, or not no stick. <laughs> I put the sticky stuff in the bottom so that when I put things in here, it grabs and they won't move around. Alright, these y'all. Put this back in here, put my transfer transparency film on top. Nope, I'm gonna do that this way. Matte paper, transparency film. We'll see if it closes when we're done. Alright. Drawer number five. Probably need to cover up my address. I put my return address labels in here. And for some reason, I, when I ordered boxes from the post office, I ordered one of the prior, priority mail envelopes. I have no idea why I did that. But, you know, I may use it. I don't know about you, and maybe you all can shed some light. I have the worst system for keeping people's addresses. I, this is it. Okay, here are my Harry Potter stamps. I'm hoping that I can give you a good look without a glare. And obviously I am hoarding these because I haven't used any of them to send to people. I don't I know of one person who would appreciate them. I'll have to put it on her Christmas card. So, these are things that I get from St. Jude. Stamps. Return. Oh, more stamps. Not really appropriate for this time of year. i to save them. And labels. Because I print out my labels for my Christmas card mailing. And more labels. Photo canvas. Awesome stuff. If you have a really cool picture that you want to print on and make it look like it was done on canvas, this is your stuff. Magnetic sheets. Huh. Kind of have forgotten about these. These are if you want to print and hang something up on the refrigerator at home. I did forget I had this. See, I knew I was gonna find stuff that I forgot that I had. More labels. A pen from Navy Pier. And there's nothing else in there. Awesome filing system. And this is photo paper. More photo paper. I obviously have a problem with paper. Surely there's some 12 step something or the other that I can get help. This, I think this is the one that has cards in it. 
And they're not A2 size cards. No! Wow, there's 5 by 7 paper in all of these. So I should be okay on the 5 by 7 paper for a while. And envelopes. If I need 5 by 7 envelopes. My kids are kind of past taking their picture for Christmas cards. Uh, actually, this is just regular typing paper under here for that rare occasion when I don't want to print a photo. All right, so now we're on my last drawer. This drawer has a bunch of old pictures. This, these are CDs with Todd's grandma. And I believe these are just old pictures that I need to scrapbook. As sad as that is, I am so far behind on scrapbooking. Not funny. These, oh, here are pictures I think from church, yeah, that need to be put in scrapbooks. So this is my drawer of things that I need to do. These are leftover pictures. I hate to just throw them away. And all of these are old clippings from Todd's grandmother. And I think his family. Eh, it might be just mostly his. Like the family coat of arms. My mother gave me that daughters are. This also, there's artwork. There's a silhouette in the bottom that's a silhouette of my youngest daughter. So these are all things that I really would like to scan. More pictures that need to be scrapped. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. This is a picture of my husband's high school basketball team. That was about 200 pounds ago. So just a bunch of keepsakes that really and truly I would like to scan and uh, put them on CD or just hard drive so we make sure that we always have them. Alrighty, so I have shared with you what's in my drawers. Gracie, say bye. Say bye, Gracie. And I will be back with another set of drawers, and I'll show you what is in those. Everybody have a great day. Bye. Say bye, Gracie.